Hi, my name is Bill Robertson, and you might know me better as Dr. Skateboard. Welcome to Dr. Skateboard's Action Science, a video series that explores the physical science concepts found in skateboarding and BMX. In this video segment, Simple Machines, we will explore what makes up Simple Machines, what they do, and how they help riders perform tricks both on boards and bikes. So let's get moving and learn about Simple Machines. We have looked at four basic simple machines found in skateboarding and BMX so far. The lever, the wheel and axle, the screw, and the inclined plane. There are two more simple machines to mention, the pulley and the wedge, which brings our total to six simple machines. If you take two or more simple machines and put them together, you get a complex machine. Both skateboards and BMX bikes are examples of complex machines. Do you think of yourself as a physicist or an engineer when you're riding your skateboard or BMX? In many ways, the traits that make someone a scientist are the same as those that make a skateboarder or a BMX rider. A physicist or an engineer studies the interactions between concepts in physical science and attempts to create situations where the output forces are maximized by the input forces. Simple and complex machines help scientists, as well as skateboarders and BMX riders, to maximize their input forces to make work easier to do. Skateboarders and BMX riders do the same thing, always trying to go higher and bigger on tricks. <laughs> 